She's so cute. She doesn't even know she's in here. Good. Pretty. Good job. Place. Nice. Nice decision. Good. Good. Her tail wag whenever you say good. Huh? Her tail wag whenever you say good. You can always add like a little kick of the box too as a pressure point and have food like already in your hands so that way you can drop it in quickly if she works through it. Nice. So I'll just like kick it like like make the noise. Yep, tap tap. There you go. Nice. I would pause just a second because that had yeah. popped up. It's okay though. I would try to say not that a girl because you use that a lot as a reinforcer and she might be like, oh, I'm looking at you because you use that pretty much as like, good job, you're doing great. And so she's looking up to you for it. It's hard though. I know that's like a habit of yours. Wait, do it again. Do it again after she puts her head in. Now put food in. There you go. Nice. You can stand by me if you want to. <laughs> That's the... I was like, we should have made holes there. Oh, it's okay. Nice. <laughs> There you go, good. Way to use your hand and target her on the ball and not on that. Nice. Oh, good girl. Good. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's a monster. It's a monster. Nice. Good with your targeting. Awesome. There you go. Yeah, pup range. She's like, oh, there's another one behind me. Girl. Nice. Girl. Oh. 
At all, Dunner. Mm-hmm. Yep, because she was calm. I know she was in a down, but she, like, calmed her little monkey brain. <laughs> just be aware, like, if she keeps doing that, I would just, like, free her off and then restart her. But not bad for the first time, because what was better was her actually thinking a little bit with that little brain. Tasted somebody else's ear on me. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Yep, I don't even click that. <laughs> Little neg back there. Get that nose up. Good. Good. Yep. There you go. And then just restart her. Yep. Back. Good. And I would just flip a U turn and try again. Good. Nice. Yeah, keep going. Good. Keen. 
Very good. Very good. good. Then just lead with your left when you start your heel after she's done snacking. Little nag back. Keep nagging. Good. Flip your U turn. Yeah, good. Very good. good. Nice. I'm probably saying it there. She's been thinking enough. Oh, <laughs> she's See when Riley's head dips, Cat will do a little nag with the leash and continue to move. Where a lot of people make a mistake is they slow down when their dog starts to get distracted by something. You want to keep that pace moving. Also, if Riley gets ahead, what we're working on is turning away from the direction that she's getting ahead from. And again, a little nag with that leash. We're also marking it with a good, then reaching into our treat pouch, not using that food as a lure. Nice. So good, reward. Head dips, turn, nag, nag. Good. And then that delivery should be right behind that left leg. We've got a lot of stimuli. We just had some people pull up. We've got mower going on. Uh, and we are working on the concrete so that way there's less smells than in the grass. Making it fun and rewarding, adding in some spins for her, praising her, loving on her. And then we'll do some play as well. There, so she got a little bitey there. So Cat turned it off little nag nag and backing up her body to invite her to come in. Little nag nag to get that nose up. Releasing her out with Keen. Have you tried any drop downs in the heel? Try that. Walk slower and then you can just do a lure like with your left hand. Nice. 
Good. So she sat down. Food is in the left hand to keep her a little straighter. Right now we're rewarding for effort, not perfection. Um, and as soon as she laid down, we cater out just so it is fun and exciting for her, not making her hold the position. Good. Very nice. There's no leash there. Keep walking. She got distracted by something, puppy brain. Good. And we got some dogs over here too as a little distraction. You're doing good. You're starting to get a little tired. Good. Nice. Cool. I would say just do a little play with her. Good job, girly. Good job. Is that paw? And for play right now, we have the leash attached to the flat collar. So that way when we're encouraging to come back with us with the toy, it's a nice lighter pressure versus having her on the prong collar. We don't want her to have too much pressure occur in order to have any sort of negative association. Not the biggest deal that she's regripping the bottom part. We're just not gonna tug with her if she brings it back like that. We're only gonna tug when she's targeting the proper ball part of the toy. And you can see when Kat's presenting it, she's presenting it in a way that she's not gonna bite her hand. It's not up and down. It's just parallel to that mouth. So the ball's a nice, easy target. Clapping the leg, backing up, encouraging her to come back. She's like, I'd rather lay in the grass right now. She's a plopper. There we go. Oh, to me. Oh, not to me. <laughs> there we go. I'd call it. All done. So Riley's a little checking out. We don't want to start to encourage her to be the dog that we have to beg to play, especially if she has a nice toy drive. So if she opts to check out on her own, we'll call it all done. That's negative punishment. No more option to play with the toy.